Okay, welcome everyone uh, to this uh, SendPile. Uh, it's, it's been a stressful week. I'm sorry I've, I haven't been vocal too much on Facebook and especially in the emails. Uh, we've been very busy. Uh, this has been the uh, busiest and the craziest week uh, in nine years. We've been working with BC. Uh, it's two o'clock in the morning here. Um, I'm, I'm having uh, our marketing uh, uh, manager, Dima, here with me, and our CTO, our developer, uh, Vlad, who actually takes care of all of our development stuff, all the software, and all the, uh, the services that we offer in code production. We, uh, we are in a, little, in a little different spot. So basically, uh, you, are, you hold responsible to your end clients. Uh, to offer them alternatives and solutions. We don't work with end clients. We work with VC partners, uh, mostly with digital agencies. So we're uh, at the spot where we have to offer something to our clients, especially to our constant clients, because they have our processes, our project management system, all of our services integrated into their workflow. And um, we actually, this, this news hit us pretty bad uh, because we basically uh, feel responsible of um, offering something very, very decent. Thanks everyone for coming um, and let's start. Uh, I will share a little story about us and uh, what, what we've been doing in the last two years. So Code Production's main business, uh, um, business directions in the last two years were third-party API, API integrations. Uh, with BC, so basically the BC partners would uh, offer us complex stuff using BC as a core CMS and we would develop a lot of third-party API integrations like MLS and you've seen the uh, Super Homes template with MLS integration came out of it. Uh, and uh, template solution that we created for smaller projects and uh, uh, the scalable solution for any size project. So. Uh, these two directions actually brought us into a very good spot. Um, 2015, 2016, and 2017, we had a, a pretty good growth. Uh, we actually had constant growth. These were the, the, lot, the best years we've ever had in the nine years, although we were very, you know, uh, BC as a platform was, was dragging us down. And... Um, uh, in beginning of 2017, uh, we understood it's time for alternative, and I mentioned that in my open letter in the email that uh, we need a spare CM. We decided we need a spare CMS, and we we spent a lot on the research, like a lot, because we needed something from small to big. We needed something uh, universal, something we can offer to our clients, and something we can. Um, use for our software products that we have for our template solution. And um, right at the same time, at a Broadway, uh, we had some actually, we came to some very good research uh, results. And Adam Broadway pro approached me in LinkedIn at the same time and he said, hey, let's catch up on Zoom and uh, I'll take you through the near me, aka Platform OS right now and uh, show you what we have. And we had great relationship with Adam when he was um, uh, in, in a, in a, in work, worked in Adobe. So we, we jumped on Zoom and he gave us um, a demo and we, we understood the potential. So uh, as a result, we've, we've been going through, through um, for several months and um, we actually found another solution. Uh, and we started, we, we migrated our most popular template, WeMe. We migrated it in there and we made a pretty big project with it so we could uh, um, uh, try it out. And we also took really big project, really big BC project with third party API integration. And we used that for that CMS as well, building the admin. This, this was a really big, big thing. And, um, but at the same time, we've been speaking with Adam and going through, and he was showing us stuff. So we made a strategic decision in the summer when, and Adam was progressing really, really, really fast. 
So we made a strategic uh, decision in the summer that we will take our uh, template platform and make it uh, independent. So uh, in case of something happens uh, with BC, we can actually, the, the software piece that does all the customization and everything creates the instances. Uh, we could basically take the BC and put another CMS. So we rebuilt the, the architecture of, the, of, a, of our template platform and we rebranded it from custom templates to triple and I have presented that at Adobe Max, which were, and we were nicely invited by Adobe to present and um, that's a different story. I will hold my emotions. And um, a week after we, uh, we uh, Right after uh, Adobe Max, uh, we met with Adam and uh, we discussed some real plans and we discussed some a roadmap on how we're going to cooperate. And uh, we showed triple, we showed the whole potential. And a little later, I have uh, flew to um, to Warsaw to meet Adam and his uh, team. So I made a presentation and we went into technical aspects, both triple and um, uh, of, uh, of, the how, of our working process. And uh, so we started a collaboration between our teams. So our CTO was introduced to Adam's um, lead developer and uh, our team were, it was added to Slack. And uh, so we started some close corporations and we, uh, we started, uh, so we decided that um, platform OS would be our main uh, core, uh, yeah, our platform OS would be our main uh, core uh, CM, uh, platform, not CMS, to work with for Triple and for um, uh, custom projects. And the reason is that is uh, because the platform has a strong visionary leader. And I, we know him personally, we have a connection with him and the team is phenomenal. We really, we're blown away and our team is blown away by their expertise. Platform West is flexible and scalable and I'll share on the potential. Um, you'll get more understanding a little later because we've worked with it already as BC partners, as developers. And uh, fourth, uh, Platform West offers us innovation and we really like that. And five, there's a, we see a potential of uh, having a focus on the community. So if we saw the potential here and we see that we will have everything that a business catalyst didn't give us and platform OS will, allow us, will uh, uh, provide us. So we started to migrate uh, a first a project. We, so basically we had one big lead for a project uh, from Australia. So that's a business catalyst with API integration with some heavy API integrations. So, and we introduced um, uh, our client to Adam and um, we, uh, Adam helped to, uh, to present, to presented the platform, the potential of it. So we started to develop it back in January. Uh, and then business catalyst uh, end of life event happened last week and we had a very good roadmap and uh, things were moving pretty sweet and uh, things have changed. Uh, we were very, very stressed with the news and we had to rebuild our strategy for the year. So let's face, uh, I will, Let's, I will list the challenges that the BC community has and uh, from my point of view and how we can move for, forward with it. First challenge is finding an alternative. We've, we need to find an alternative for our clients and every BC partner need to find an alternative. Second is migration of existing websites, how that's gonna happen, what's the process. And third, how about creating new sites? Uh, uh, how about, uh, you know, you're not going to do, you should do some business within these two years. You need to do some cash. You, you know, I'm not going to get earn more, a lot of cash from, you know, from just migrating websites. So this is uh, too much of a challenge for every BC partner. It doesn't matter if you're an agency or not. So, and I'll just go step by step. Uh, um, so uh, these are the alternatives that we're going to discuss today. Platform OS, uh, triple CMS, I'll explain what that are going to be. And WordPress sort of. I will explain on that. So these are the three alternatives that we think as developers 
uh, that worked with a lot of CMS and researched pretty much all of them for, for our stuff. Uh, let's talk about migration challenges. Probably the biggest thing that I uh, discussed. And uh, well, there are four challenges. First is time. There's a lot of a lot of time needed to to migrate any you know all the website you have. So basically, it's if it's 20 websites, five websites, 30, 300 websites. So it's a lot of time, and you didn't not even know how much. Second is a the cost. There's a lot of cost involved and there's, it's really hard to justify the cost if you're going to pitch that to the client, the migration to the client. Third is a quantity. There's just a whole bunch of websites, thousands of websites, you know, 77,000 or, or that, that's the number I heard. And a fourth very, very important uh, challenge is uh, adaptation for partner. You know, you have to adapt. And for the end client, you know, it's a stress. So for, for the, the first three, the time and cost and quantity, automation is the only choice. So, and this is something we've been, you know, this is the direction we, we decided to go from the day one when we heard the news last week. So um, before I'll talk to automation and, and to what, where we came, what, what was the, um, what conclusion we made, uh, let's group, let's categorize all the BC websites First are the brochure, brochure sites, static pages, blog, and some simple CRM contacts. Uh, middle is no payments, web apps, nothing super fancy, just you know, simple web apps, events, blog, and simple CRM. Big would be e-commerce, custom events, advanced CRM, and huge API integration, custom web apps. So for, uh, I think we should start from the, the most complex ones, and that's what we started to review. And, and if we figure out how to migrate these, the rest would be easy. And th these are the websites that we develop. <laughs> you know, this is a big part of our business. Cause this, is, this is the biggest headache for us. So uh, we think that with its $50 plans that um, Adam uh, introduced, introducing Platform OS is absolutely the choice with some additions. Uh, Let's go back to automation. So for automation, we have we need to make two steps. First step is uh, data extra extra extraction engine uh, from BC. And uh, well, thank God we've worked. We had a lot of um, libraries uh, uh, left from the uh, third-party API integration uh, projects we did because we had to extract a lot of data uh, uh, for 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 our project. So we had we had some we added some extra work to just during this week going over times on the weekends and stuff. So all of our and by the way we stopped developing projects on BC last week. So we had you know all of our resources just became available and we threw everything into research into auto, working on the solution. So uh, uh, so the data extraction engine from BC we have that part covered uh, for the most part especially for the bigger projects. And the step two is building a conversion engine. And that's a pretty, it's a pretty big one, migrating existing major BC modules and layouts into platform OS. There are a lot of details. I try to put that in presentation, but my, my CTO told me I should do that. And I just, I'll trust him on that. If there are any questions, technical questions, you'll just, we can, we can talk about that later. So, okay, if we, uh, you know, do the automation, there's another, uh, if we figure out the way to migrate and it looks promising on our side, right? And uh, I, I, we're definitely gonna show some results pretty soon. What about adaptation, you know? Uh, and this is the answer that we're gonna, this is the answer we will offer for the adaptation, uh, the solution we'll offer. We call it action panel. So basically this is for platform OS. Let me show you that, how that works. Do you see my screen? Okay. So basically we start with the, with the login. So this is the admin that we're gonna put on top of uh, platform OS. And uh, we've been working, our team been working with uh, uh, Adam's team uh, um, um, every day and, and got with there in the same time zone. So we, and they've been, they've been super responsive and super helpful. And we've been syncing certain things, not all of them, but most for the most part. 
So you start with, uh, first of all, it's going to be rebranded. So you'll be able to rebrand it to put your own branding on it. So, so it should be, a, uh, yeah, so we'll be familiar. Um, going up, so when we log in, uh, by the way, if you've noticed the, 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 uh, the loader. Oh, yeah, Adam, Dima told me that the, the BC, the URL is BC. Well, that's a prototype. And we used BC, it's our last BC project to build the prototype. Sorry about that. I, I hope you're not that much allergic to BC and you can, uh, you'll be able to play with it. So this is a prototype we, we, we build. We promise you that's the last, last business catalyst website. Are we good? Okay. Uh, so here it is. Uh, we have the partner logo again. Uh, and first of all, we're going to have these, we'll be, we'll be able to add these feeds and this is really possible with, uh, with platform OS. Everything's possible with platform OS. So we're thinking to creating these feeds. Uh, there will be month limitations on on the plans, so we're gonna put them in here. So you'll you'll you know where you are. You are. There are a lot of charts that can be added. This is just a placeholder. There is a backup available. Uh, we can integrate that. We're still in talks with the uh, with the developers on it, but we can have we can manage to include that. Uh, well, uh, next we have search menu. We can actually search the menu. So basically, if I want to choose web app. As you can see, I type in web, it, it highlights what I need exactly, so something that we all missed in Business Catalyst. Uh, next thing is a Nice Editor. If you heard of Nice Editor, we had an open beta for on the BC App Store. So here you go, here's the newest uh, Nice Editor that Business Catalyst will never see. And it's, it's you're gonna be able to edit the website just like this, your client will just double click and uh, yeah, and change the uh, change everything. Super easy, super nice, amazing. Yeah, choose file. Yeah, basically, yeah, upload file and things like that. This is a prototype, but that's exactly how it's going to work. We actually took the nice piece. It's a separate entity, uh, you know, developed separately, and it's complete, and it's on top of our uh, triple template. So all, all, all the pages, by the way, um, are editable. Blog, we're have, gonna have a, a more stuff on blog, so you can actually add the blog from here. Contact, for example, you can edit all that stuff. I'll give you a link. We we'll actually build a prototype for you to play. I will um, give you a link and I'll explain uh, on that uh, later. So, Simon? Okay, uh, I will finish and then we, I'm going to answer all questions, I promise. I have coffee. Here. So a site manager, for site manager, uh, menus, uh, this is how, you know, we, we drive, we take everything and make it as, so we, we just give you the better admin than BC hat. So this should be an upgrade for you and for the client, for the end client. So this, oh, by the way, the loader will be branded as well. So your client will see the, your, your logo in, in the loader. So pretty simple menu. You can manipulate, drag and drop, nothing super new in here. Pages, so pages, uh, it's, we're actually gonna have search for all the lists. So basically you can type in and you can, you know, search, you have a lot of stuff and that's gonna be multi-page. So basically we'll pull up stuff from all the pages. Uh, and uh, by the way, we're gonna have these uh, filters. I'll show how it's gonna work on, on CRM. That, that's, it, it, it's more fancy than that. So let's go to web forms. Web forms, uh, we're still in contact with the developers. We can do that in Platform OS. We'll, we're, we're still in communication, our, our CTO with the uh, Adams uh, main dot. So basically we wanna give ability to copy and go to page and paste you know, the, the, the web form to whatever you want. Uh, media downloads, this is where you're gonna upload files, nothing fancy. System emails, well the system emails, BC has a whole bunch of system emails, so as far, we will gradually add the system emails, you know, and when we move more and more projects, so we just put some stuff in here for now. Web apps, with web apps, this is something very, very interesting. 
this is how we're going to do this. Uh, so basically, um, when I told you about the migration engine, the, the engine that's going to convert, we want to build an engine. Um, there's still going to be some manual work involved, but we, we, won't, we can still make it really fast and cost efficient. Although there's a lot of work needed to be done, like a lot of work. Um, but I, I, um, but I got a really, you know, I got approval from my CTO and in nine years, he never was mistaken about things like that. So basically this is what we're going to have. We're going to, uh, convert what you have, the web apps in the way they are. You were going to convert them into here. And if you, uh, they're going to work exactly like they, they are in the BC and later on as the next stage, we will be able to upgrade it. And, and you can go to the clients and say, hey, you, this is, you remember the web app we did for you in the BC? Hey, in platform, in this new uh, platform that we upgraded you to, uh, we can actually extend it and we can remove all the limitation and this is, here's the cost. Uh, so uh, I'm sure you're gonna have more questions on, the, on web apps and that's why we have our CTO here and I'll try to, we we'll try to answer that. Blog, for the blog, we're gonna have, uh, oh, by the way, yeah, the search is gonna work. So it's gonna be uh, pretty much the same blog as in BC for now, uh, with all the stuff that you need for SEO and for uh, more options, uh, yeah. So basically anything, categories, should be should be great experience for you. Yeah, uh, one thing is, um, oh, WYSIWYG. WYSIWYG, we, we found amazing WYSIWYG. We, we're gonna purchase, you know, exclusive license for it. Uh, it's, it's, it's beautiful and it's our developers, our JS, JavaScript developer researched on it and he said, this is the best thing, we need this in BC. So we're gonna add this um, events. On the events, uh, basically that's gonna be the same as BC. We're probably gonna add, uh, we're, we're gonna add capacity and uh, the, uh, oh, and we have, we'll have some cool features here on um, uh, on hours. So we, we basically you can change, choose time just like this. And uh, yeah, so it should be pretty neat. Photo galleries, it's nothing super fancy here. You're just gonna, you know, uh, export photo galleries. News, uh, we've gotta keep the news because some BC websites have the news. So we're just gonna move them in here. It's gonna be just a blog without an image, I think, or with an image. So because we would have to migrate it, we decided we're gonna keep it. FAQs, um, yeah, the FAQs are pretty much the same as pages. Now, CRM. On the CRM, we gonna we have a lot of room here for creativity. Um, we basically can put anything. So we can put anything to customers or what's, we have a lot of, of uh, so it's the same with, as with web apps, we're gonna transfer stuff as it is in BC. So you're gonna be able to use it as you, as you do in BC. Am I saying that right? Yeah, uh, I'm checking with my CDO so I don't get screwed. And, and later on we can, uh, you know, upgrade it and uh, discuss how this is gonna work. But, and the, the capabilities here are just amazing. This is a BC dream come true. It's, it's, it's yeah, for us, for, for us developers, we didn't dream of that much of uh, flexibility. Uh, yeah, let's go to um, e-commerce. For the e-commerce, uh, there were no like strict e-commerce website developed in near me platform. I'm, I'm sorry if I mentioned something I should mention, Adam. Uh, and we communicated with the developers. So we basically would have to build an engine, an e-commerce engine. On one hand, it's possible. On the other hand, it's a lot of work. And we'll probably gradually do that, uh, you know, with the real projects, with the real bigger e-commerce projects. So for the product, um, we're just going to make it the same way as BC for now. And um, with just a little additions for SEO and stuff. And it's going to be the same process. Uh, for catalogs, it's it's just going to be drag and drop here. Discount codes, we're going to have usage, and this is yeah. For discount codes, we're going to have some some neat stuff in here. But it's pretty much the same as BC. Gift vouchers is the same. Uh, tax codes the same. Shipping options the same. We're going to have the same layouts even. Oh, reviews. We this is the thing that we have 
хочешь перестрел? Не с кем Ты хочешь решить перестрел? No. So uh, it, we've seen this in the, one of the near me's project. There's ability to um, manipulate rev uh, to uh, manage reviews and uh, and ratings, and, and that feature is awesome. And it, it's really something we, we were missing. We wanted to add that to to templates to our e-commerce section. Really, really wanted, but VC didn't allow us to in the way we wanted it. So here we will have that. So the triple, finally triple templates will get an upgrade, and it will be. Uh, they're available from day one after we start setting this up. Email marketing. On email marketing, we will have to do the same as with uh, e-commerce. We'll basically need to create uh, the um, marketing com uh, campaign um, setups. So uh, it's going to be close to BC, but better. But within time, we can upgrade. We will be able to upgrade it, or developers will be able to upgrade it. Uh, we'll we'll take. We'll discuss those details later. Mailing list the same. Oh, by the way, because of Twilio and we spoke, we can communicate with developers, we can do the SMS campaigns fairly easy. So this is one of the additions we could add later on to the action plan. I'm getting, uh, I'm, 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 uh, please bear with me just a little bit. Uh, reports on, uh, we're gonna have customer re reports from BC in the same way. Oh, by the way, we're gonna have uh, filtering. This is something. Must need the filtering a bit. So, I was told to mention filtering. Uh, oh yeah, and the search. This is what I told, been told uh, by our uh, one of our lead devs. Uh, he said that you can do the search not only by name but also by uh, position by office or like even 39 so basically anything you can search stuff from here so it should be super convenient and for custom reports in platform OS, we can put anything so in the future you can put any, create any kind of custom report in here so the opportunities are endless now there's some extra stuff that we prepared just for bc partners like a cherries two cherries on the pie if if people do that um, so basically, first thing is um, AMP accelerated mobile pages. Google accelerated mobile pages. We're gonna have. Uh, if you didn't know, don't know what that is, you should. In your your SEO uh, guys would totally appreciate that. So basically, we'll add automatic uh, AMP uh, uh, compatibility to a certain parts of the website, and in fact, you can actually disable that. So. Um, a, uh, I'm not going to explain what AMP is, uh, but you'll, you'll, when you when you uh, research that, you'll totally appreciate the feature. So you'll be able to disable that for certain parts, like if well, if a web app, for example, it's it's not on a, on, a, on a public page, you just disable that because you want a, a normal version, a, a regular version on, on the mobile. So and the last cherry, oh, not not the last. Uh, users. So this is how we we really you know we didn't like the way the roles are regulated in in BC. So this is how we're going to do it here, and platform because platform OS allows us to. Uh, you basically this is the the list of everything you have in the admin. So basically you have an owner. Let me go to editor. So let's say, oh, it's gonna be on anyways, okay. So you, there'll be an editor and you don't want editor to uh, you know, see the dashboard and change menus and web forms. Just, uh, just nice editor, for example, and uh, you know, media downloads and only one web app and, uh, and blog, that's it. And you don't want him to be able to see the, uh, the CRM and all that stuff in his version of the admin. So, and you basically control that this way and uh, you can create as much many users as you want and you can customize the, the restrictions however you want. Uh, next thing is that from day one, it's gonna be responsive. So admin will be responsive, so it'll be, you'll be able to use that fairly easy in your, from your mobile and manipulate the website from your mobile. Um, language, uh, and multi-language uh, uh, support. So basically we're gonna throw it in here because we build a lot of complex multi-language websites. Joel, Brian, if you're here, heads up. And 
your the latest project we did for you uh so yeah this is going to be super easy for for your for, for your clients and, and your seo guys will be happy about the mp as well uh we're not gonna this thing i'm not sure if we're gonna do that in the first version if you're really gonna need that we're gonna have some settings in the settings you'll be able to upload the logo and there's some just little little things and the help we actually you can contact probably gonna contact us or something and log out okay so this is the action panel um we yeah we did a lot of work and put a lot of work into this but let's move forward action panel open beta testing we have this um available on triple template platform meaning on our website so you go to code production uh oh my gosh is it just in that co and you go to triple beta and then templates dima will throw the link yeah just in case uh you go to templates and uh there's a this first new template called action panel you view the details and uh, you click preview and everything i showed you you will see that uh you will see that because our team is the best and they made it work yes and uh you will see that you'll you will have the preview on devices and all that stuff so basically in in the favorite triple format everything is in here available for you to test including the nice editor new nice editor you, yeah the, yeah we actually didn't show it to anyone even to better testers um yeah, so basically go ahead, uh, start using that. We're gonna have open beta testing until like active one, until April 1st. Why? Because we already started to migrate. Uh, so the migration, the way how we migrate, build the migration engine is that we take the real websites, the heavy website, and we integrate that and we uh, use the uh, uh, knowledge from it basically and we put that and we create pieces of the migration tool. So we already started on migrating bigger websites to platform OS and um, Adam helped us and the team helped us to create instances and stuff. And uh, so basically, the, and those websites gonna have the action panel, those gonna be the first websites. So we don't have much time to beta test it um, for the first version. So would you? So we would ask you to, especially code production clients, uh, to go in, check that out, you know, let us all the feedback, let us know everything you think about it. And we, we're gonna probably create like a backlog over here, uh, cause we're gonna you know, probably upgrade that within several months on, on what features we're gonna um, put in first. So just leave the uh, feedback in the comments section. Okay, let's move forward. Um, so yeah, so BC migration engine, uh, we will, we hope to build like a, a, a bigger piece of it, most of it, uh, by uh, June first. This is uh, this is how our plans look like. We're not gonna get in more uh, like newer projects. For now, for, for migration, we have five pretty huge websites, and we're gonna constantly um, uh, put updates on our blog, Facebook, and maybe email updates. I don't know, but we're gonna give you a progress. Uh, uh, how we're gonna let you know how we progress. So we're gonna accept a uh, uh, conversion order starting June first, two thousand eighteen, for Platform OS. And again, we're gonna select the heaviest websites. Uh, let's let's move next. Well, there's a one really big question that a lot of partners would have. What about the rest of the websites, the brochure websites, the middle websites, even our the heaviest partners we work with, they still have, you know, those little websites that they uh, maintain and they probably do it for the same client as the heavy website. So, and our solution, we actually, it was really heavy for us, like super heavy. So what we're going to offer is like the heaviest thing. And, um, and the solution that we, uh, decision that we decided to make, was triple CMS. We're actually going to build a triple CMS with Action Panel. So basically, it's going to be um, uh, hosted um, 
at CMS for a, a brochure and middle websites with, oh, actually I have a list of things that's gonna be there, yeah. So we're gonna upgrade our template, uh, tuple, uh, template platform. We started that right before Business Catalyst end of life. So part of our cooperation with the Adam teams was our, we have a new template, it's called Material. It's, it's designed based on, so based on, uh, uh, there's a, if uh, Google has published the, the language, design language called Material, and we took that and based on it, we create a huge template. And we put a lot of stuff into it. This should have been our first uh, um, a template available for platform OS, and we have crazy customization for it. And it's aimed for small, from landing pages to enterprises. So we started in this huge project. Um, when did we start in? I think in February. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I think in February, and we wanted to present that. And this is where the the, the level we are taking the triple platform. So um, upgraded Drupal template platform. This is what Drupal CMS is going to have uh, with the new templates and stuff. Uh, second, unlimited demo sites, the same as we have right now. So there is a great sales model for, for all the partners, all the clients, and it's going to be white labeled. So basically all the demo sites you're going to offer, it's going to be white labeled with your, uh, with your logo. Wide labeled action panel, just as I showed you right now, the same as platform OS. New nice editor will be part of triple S and CMS. And AMP compatible pages, we will also make that available for the smaller websites. Uh, full code production support. Yeah, so basically this is gonna be something if you're engaged with code production uh, with our team, you know, we're gonna give the same treatment to this project, this project. Okay. Okay, uh, you, you got confused. Dima told me you got confused. So uh, let me go, just go further. Mm, yeah, and the nine, number one, nine, number nine, Triple CMS would be uh, will have an ability to upgrade to platform OS at any time. That's the most important thing. So basically, if the website grows, you know, the business grows, your client business grows, you can upgrade it to platform OS. Uh, Triple CMS will be developed by us. Basically, we will develop the the core, the the um, the foundation. We have we already have the template platform. We already have the nice editor. We have the action panel. So we're going to build the base, and we're going to host it. So basically, pretty much the same you had with BC, but no payments. Triple CMS will have no payments. So we're going to create new. You you will have ability to create new sites starting July first. So we have to build a lot of stuff to make this available. Uh, we didn't go for any other CMS and, uh, with the triple CMS because it's just, it's not something that, you know, it just, it, w it wouldn't work. So this is the one ecosystem that we want to offer to code production clients, constant code production clients. So basically one ecosystem for creating growth driven websites where you have a template platform that you got used to, where you still do the PSDs, take the PSDs, redesign them however you want and save on design and development you can go to triple and find out about that if you're not familiar with that yet. So triple CMS would be for smaller projects, 10 to $40 plans, platform OS for bigger projects, action panel on both um, uh, platforms, and you can upgrade at any time and code production support will be a base of it for, um, for, for you to access. So basically the, all the developers are available. So, uh, what are we gonna offer now? So we're not gonna we can't offer anything on, on that part because we have we have a lot of work to do. As you probably know, we have been a WordPress, we've been working with WordPress, Drupal, Expression Engine, a little Magento, Shopify, right before we uh, jumped in um, with the help of Colin Frost to uh, BC in 2009. And I'll be honest, I'm not selling or anything you've heard it many times. BC community was the reason. We liked the clients. We didn't like the clients on other CMSs. We like to work with clients with the, the, with BC partners. This is, was like a separate um, uh, group of people we really, really liked. So we still have WordPress expertise and our development and management team is located in the best outsourcing. Uh, I mean, in, not in not in terms of uh, in terms of quality. We're in a really good position here in Ukraine. So I signed up uh, 
a great team actually invited a great team to join us um we act, it's, it's top-notch wordpress developers that will handle with basically we're going to date we have the data extraction engine and as i ex explained that so basically we get stuff from bc and they will do the same for the wordpress they will do the migration to wordpress and the first project uh will be a little more expensive and then we're going to start more automate automate uh, so the, the way how we're going to present that, uh, if you go on our website to code production, um, you basically go to transform my BC site. As you notice, there we have no other services, just this. If you go to code production homepage, you just transform my BC site. On transform my BC site, you basically um, check the, uh, you know, type in the URL, the site name. Confirm from Business Catalyst, and then you choose WordPress. You can choose it now, submit project. Our project managers are ready, and you can send them the, web, the WordPress websites. We're gonna ask you for access to BC, and we're gonna start giving quotes. Uh, again, first projects will be more expensive, and then we're gonna shrink them down because the automation uh, will be in progress. Uh, but there's another thing, because we wanna keep the, all the, you know, the ecosystem and stuff. Uh, because of we're going to build the migration engine and technically we have you know extra capabilities we, you will be able if, if you're going to like if you see after we release triple uh and uh with uh cm triple cms with action panel you will be able to um uh, upgrade it to you'll be able to upgrade your wordpress instances that we migrated for you to triple cms that's a little trick that we're going to offer um Facebook, Twitter, blog, and email updates. This is how we're gonna we have we're gonna have a lot of news basically because we have a lot of work and a lot of progress. So uh, we're gonna post everything on Facebook, Twitter, blog, and email updates. I'm not sure if we're gonna repost it into Facebook group because it's just you know a lot of stuff happening there. So if you want to see what's happening directly, uh, you go to our Facebook group, subscribe to our Twitter. We're gonna post stuff into blog, and we're gonna send email updates. For the email updates, we have this form right here, so you can sign up for the email updates on the important stuff. This is my email. Please, uh, uh, you can email me. I'll try to answer. Uh, I type pretty fast, but I'll try to answer everyone uh, as, 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 um, as, as time allows. Um, and now my turn to, I, I wanted to, meet, uh, to introduce you to Autumn Broadway. Uh, that's what originally planned. Or we can jump into questions. Uh, it's up to you right now. So, what do you do? Alex, there, there seems to be a little confusion about how the uh, triple fits in with the with the code production. So maybe Adam, it would make sense if he gave like a, about five minutes about what code what. Uh, oh shoot! Too many names now. Uh, Platform OS is, and then how. Uh, the triple CMS fits on top of that. Okay, that's a good question. But can I answer that, or you want Adam to answer that? Because Adam's not going to answer that. Oh, I don't. Either of you is, is fine. They're just looking at the notes there. There's just some confusion about how one yeah, fits I know in with the other. Confusion. Yeah, uh, let me. I can jump in on that. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Hey, no worries. Um, so, as as uh, Alex mentioned, the team over there at Code Production Co. And I've reached out to a number of partners. Some of them are actually in in the room. And uh, as part of that outreach, actually two years ago it started, we've built some sites with uh, Big Blue Digital uh, and with a couple of other partners as we adapted. And what happened was, uh, and i am turned video off for the moment because um, I look terrible right now because I've just been going nonstop. So I'll, I'll, uh, I'll leave that for the moment. We reached out to a bunch of BC partners because our strategy was to move partners up the value chain. We weren't going to compete with Business Catalyst at all. We were building a better mousetrap, as you say. So in reaching out with Alex and the team, uh, and because my team are all um, Eastern European based, uh, Romania and in uh, Poland, we caught up and he made the investment with his team by putting resources on the ground to connect with us, as have a number of other partners, Adam Cook's in the room and others. And they are spending a lot of their own personal time to get up to speed. So the code production team saw the writing on the wall, as have many other partners, that things weren't going fast enough with Business Catalyst. And it's honestly just 
sort of, or not, I wouldn't say fortuitous, it's not the best word, but it's just coincidental that in the last week since the Adobe announcement, uh, what Code Production Co. have been doing with us uh, has just accelerated. So we are working with any channel partners and Code Production team have just doubled down and made a big investment of their resources to work with us. So our platform is all API based. They've built directly on top of our stack and any competent front-end developer will be able to do that. And they're streamlining the process and investing their own resources to do the migration out of BC. Um, so I hope that makes, uh, makes sense. So some of the questions uh, I'm, I'm seeing are, if I build my site, if I have my own site that I've built, it's HTML, CSS, and a little bit of JavaScript, can I get that loaded on either platform? And I would say I would say the answer for uh, any any site that's say brochureware, uh, just assets, mostly static, um, definitely would go on the triple CMS. And then if you're wanting to take advantage of the the back end power that we've built, uh, which is more web apps on steroids, secure zones on steroids, uh, web forms workflows on steroids, then they can deploy that on our platform. So they've built Triple as a, a platform agnostic set of tools, but they're now able to deploy on our platform seamlessly. And that overlay that you saw, the, the, that demoed, uh, is all front-end code that they've developed with their own GitHub repository that they push to our platform on a particular site. So you get that and uh, you could have your own, uh, you could do your own version of that, but uh, depends on the resources you have available. Cool. Now, to my understanding, Adam, uh, is pl Platform OS is standalone and the, uh, the folks at Code Production have really built something over top that works, in, works with it, but they're independent. Correct. So, Correct. Yeah, so I can, I can take my HTML site or, or I can build my own site and through, uh, through GitHub push it up to, to Platform OS. I don't have to use uh, the, the Code Production. They're just trying to make it easier. Oh yeah, they're making it hugely easier because what we're focused, our primary focus as engineers is to build an, uh, an API based platform because websites are not going to be websites in the next three to five years. Everything will be interconnected via APIs. You'll have voice commands, you know, like Adobe, uh, Adobe on the brain, uh, Amazon Alexa, Google Home, uh, Internet of Things, mobile apps. We're building an engine that powers websites, apps, IoT. And they are building a really nice, beautiful, much more elegant user experience over the top. So that's the the marriage, if you like, or a hand in glove fit. And uh, I'm sorry. Sorry, go on. I want to clarify one thing: is uh, uh, when we heard the news, uh, the best way to communicate. Uh, I, I figured out the best way to communicate to code production clients. This was our original focus: was the BC send file. So that's why when I that's why I reserved time with Dave. So we originally, I, I um, uh, you know, I focused on being here and off, uh, and have a conversation with co-production clients because we want to offer stuff for them. Apparently, you know, we have a lot of stuff, people here that don't use co-production and, you know, they have their own developers, which, which you know, it's, it's, it's great. They're doing amazing stuff. So, so we have a little mixture here. So basically we have our, um, our stuff, uh, for code production users, and uh, yeah, so we have to figure out maybe um, how we can benefit others as well. Uh, so we, there's a lot of details that are still are, are not clear, even even for us. We just know that the one number one thing we have to offer is alternative to our clients. Not I'm not saying that hey, this is the solution for the whole, uh, you know, how many thousand web partners there are. I'm not pitching for that. Uh, I hope that's explain some things. Um, what other questions I can answer? I think, I think also, Adam, uh, you recorded the session that, that was just about an hour, a couple hours ago. So if you can send me the link to that recording once you're done, I'll include it with the recording from this sample. And, and like, I think a lot of the, folk, the questions that I'm seeing in the, uh, in the chat were answered in that session for those that, that uh, didn't get to make it. So that in itself is fine. And Alex, I think there's some confusion around if, if I build my site and 
can I put my site on the Triple platform, the Triple CMS, or do I need to have your your developers actually integrate the site onto the, the Triple program? Uh, that's probably the next question. Yeah, that's a good question. So basically, Triple CMS, Triple platform, and is is uh, oriented for digital agencies. Uh, let me show you that. Yeah. Um, so basically, uh, we we, uh, we we tend like our clients are more people that tend to have a, a like a sales processes and um, and the design process, and we take care of all the development and testing. And uh, we this is like our target audience all have always been. So uh, uh, there's a one, one question I want to ask our CTO. Но они из сайта свои э, заставили на HTML, на CSS, это мы какие-то простые бэцэшные сайты. На Triple мы не можем их перетащить. Есть? На Triple CMS? На Triple CMS. А, можем. А, 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 а. Okay, yeah, my, my, my CTO tells me that we actually can't uh, arrange that uh, if you have a static website that falls into that into this category, into this category right here, we can actually uh, migrate it to a uh, triple CMS and have give you the action panel. Uh, there will be some, you know, there will be some fee, we will have to set up some, th some things. It will be much easier for triple websites. So every what so all of our clients have created business catalysts with triple. Uh, it's going to be easier for them because we have the instances before of, of those websites before we migrate to business catalysts. So it's going to be easier for us. Uh, so yeah, technically it's possible. And there's another way. Another way would be to upsell a new website if that's an uh, um, uh, uh, an existing website and it's not responsive, for example, or it has bugs in, 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 uh, in anywhere, uh, or it doesn't have Font Awesome 5, we just rolled out Font Awesome 5 for, for, for Triple. You basically take a look at, um, you know, choose one of the 10 templates, and we, we have three new templates in the last 30 days. And uh, let's go with this one. So you basically go in and you create a, a demo site. Demo site is free. Uh, I'll show you actually there's a there's a there's a version there's a there are samples of demo sites it's going to be easy let's take juice um so uh yeah so preview let's preview this one so you give your you imagine you designed this with triple it's like it's going to take like 15 to 30 minutes and I say hey uh we have this website we created for you in bc and Here's, um, I have a new website that I built for you, pre-designed for you. Uh, and uh, here it is, here's your logo and you know, it's for its cafe. And, and basically, you, you know, you, you probably know all the, all the capabilities of Triple. And you know, there's no of our branding, nothing in here. You just uh, upsell it and then you come to us. We're gonna probably, you know, make it super, try to make it like cheap for BC partners so they can sell it and justify the cost to moving that to, 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 to having that on triple and, and they make a profit of it. So that's one thing. And the second thing, if you want to leave it as is, our CTO tells us it's going to be possible. So, so what I hear you saying is you could uh, take like a BC gurus based uh, template that you've got existing and you're going to be able to move it across. There'll be a cost for that. And that's, we're going to work that out. That's fine. You could treat it as a, an upsell opportunity or a change opportunity and, and convert that into a triple template. Or frankly, uh, I think Aaron asked, I mean, you could take that site directly to the platform OS. You don't have to use the triple. The, the triple CMS is something uh, Cold Production has, bu has built to sit on top of or, or to help integrate a BC site in, into uh, platform OS. So they're, they're independent, but one is, oh. one is meant to work with the other. Okay, it, Triple CMS is a CMS for, uh, for for websites that for clients that not gonna pay more than fifty dollar plans, and they don't need to. They don't need the platform OS capabilities, all that stuff. It's just a static brochure, you know, middle websites. 
So basically for those who are able to pay 10 to $40, we have the triple CMS. That's why we had to come with Enterm CMS. And we have a lot of software pieces that when we can merge together, nice, uh, you know, triple platform and demo sites and all that action, action panel that's developed separately. So basically we just combine them and we create a base for it. The, uh, the 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 actual CMS engine for it, and we're going to offer the same hosting, uh, probably Amazon. Yeah, and yeah. for database, for data centers, we're going to have you know uh, uh, ad, ad admins uh, support here, doing all that stuff. So basically, this is uh, so we would have everything in one place. That's why we offer Triple, and Triple has uh, since we're going to have the action panel, we will have the the, the upgrade capability to move that in the future if you want to if you you say that hey i want to add e-commerce so you you move it to to uh, to platform s to uh yeah so it's so it's not 10 to 40 dollars plus 50 dollars initially it's either 10 to 40 dollars or exactly. 50 dollars exactly yeah. yeah these oh i'm sorry i probably yeah this is the part this is a brochure website it's gonna cost yeah, ten dollars if it has just if it's uh, let's say it's a landing page it's going to be ten dollars a month or something like that. So this one has all the simple CRM blog events, some two web apps, no payments of forty dollars, and some some other. So you pay forty dollars a month. And, and the then key for, the, the key for me is that there's a migration strategy. So if if you happen to be on the left yeah. side brochure or middle plan, you can you can get your site migrated over, whether it's an existing code production template or if it's a BC Gurus. Again, there's some costs we got to work out. But you yeah. can get it moved over, get it stable, get things going. And then if you need to move to platform OS later, yes, there's a, a, there'll be a small migration cost for that, but you're not completely forklifting the entire website. It's, you're just really moving from one to the other, right? Exactly. Here's, there's a philosophy I'm coming from. Um, let me explain that. If you, some of you probably have heard of growth-driven uh, design. Uh, so basically, we, we, we uh, noticed that... Uh, the best clients we have, the best websites uh, we, we work uh, are those that are growing. So basically they start with small and they, you know, they crunch like lunch bed websites with, with triple and, and then the business needs are growing and the website is growing, growing, growing. And then, and we've been witnessing like huge, absolutely huge growth for some website. And some of them are coming from these little websites, you know, just, just so and we need, when we, uh, for the few now, when we BC is gone, we understand that we need a room and we need that room because we work with agencies and they need a room uh, for, you know, for their smaller websites to grow into huge websites. That's why we have come up with this. So this, the room that I'm talking about, it's right here. So this is triple CMS. And when you want to grow to plat to bigger stuff, platform OS, that's what we like. We think it's number one for, um, for the bigger stuff. Good. Also, uh, I saw several times it mentioned, and whether it's you, Alex, or, or Adam, want to talk about SEO and like three hundred one redirects and those kind of things uh, on the platform OS. Oh, for the SEO, um, huh? Adam is the best person to answer that. Uh, so I just repeat the question. I was actually in a chat with somebody, so I was answering their question on chat. Please repeat. Yeah, yeah, it's it's all good, Adam. Uh, there's been several several times it's been brought up about SEO on the platform mm -hmm. OS and about 301 redirects. I know you kind of covered that earlier, but it seems to be of interest here. Yeah, can I do a quick demo? Uh, that would probably be the best approach. I'm I'm fine with it. Uh, we're past our time, oh, but okay. I think I, I, no, no. But I think this is a special occasion. I'm willing to stay as long as necessary. So go ahead. Should I do something? Uh, if I hit share screen, I yeah, just you just have to, to you just have to stop oh, yeah. sharing and then he can do it. Am I? Uh, can you see my screen now? Um, no, Al Alex, you need to, Alex needs to stop and then. Uh, okay. There we go. I see the Volte designer address. Okay, higher. the Vault. Okay, cool. Uh, well, the Vault is a good example because they're just a, a new site uh, that launched a dress hire uh, marketplace. So they have uh, ladies' fashion which um, they require people to list their addresses. It's like rent the runway, if you like. And uh, three lawyers who gave up the day jobs and didn't want to spend hundreds of thousands on a custom solution because marketplaces are expensive to develop, but they were up against some stiff competition. So let's just go up and take a look at incognito browser and look for a uh, dress 
rental and they're based in Perth and they're up against already incumbents. Uh, dress rental in Perth and uh, what do they got? They got the number uh, two spot already after a few months uh, in Google. So Google um, incognito browser, so it's not using my previous search history. Uh, but let's look at some of this other stuff. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this, because it's just basic SEO 101 stuff, is because what we can do, um, and where are we? There's the vaults on page one, which is great. They're moving up, they're moving up the rankings, lovely. Let's do another quick search for spare desk um, San Francisco. And we'll take a look at that result. Number one spot, desks near me ahead of share desk, pivot desk and others. If we click through here, uh, this is a site, um, uh, it's like Airbnb for office space, which is hosted on our platform. Uh, these are little keyword clusters that a search engine market identified and through our CMS API um, said, hey, put a bunch of these keyword clusters in the back end and then using liquid markup, a front end developer can write those keywords onto a page, any page, and then they can be linked to a landing page. Now the landing pages can also be dynamically created. And what we do is, uh, let's just search for, actually we'll go to New York, um, New York Lisa workspace for a day. Apparently that's some keywords that Google said were useful. So if we look on the results, um, number one spot, number two spot are uh, desks near me. Liquid space and all the other competitors can't touch us. Uh, there's a few reasons why, just basic good SEO uh, practice. And then there's some things you do on the server side, which we won't be sharing. But the important thing is that you can actually create landing pages using graph queries. And um, this is just a, a, a way to connect to the database and pull data, data out based on the SEO friendly URL. So it could be location based, it could be keyword based, and based on that URL, it will construct based on your template theme, uh, injecting breadcrumbs, related listings, and user generated content, or any content out of the ad, uh, the back end that meets those keyword requirements on the, uh, on the uh, URL. And so this becomes a really powerful way and we prove it on every client site that uses this technique within three months they're top of the pops uh, for good seo the important thing to note too is that it's got to be mobile optimized all that stuff google amp is going to be really critical after june this year um, making sure that sites leverage google amp we can do static pages so we can generate static page content, which is then dynamically updated on a period, a time basis that you define so that it can still be Google AMP, uh, adhere, adhere to accelerated mobile pages, even if it has dynamically generated content. One of the issues with AMP is certain pages can't be optimized for AMP because uh, it's all dynamic at the time of rendering but we can also do some cool um, caching based on time as well. So basically our SEO through the CMS allows a search engine marketer to identify keywords that need to be used and placed on a, any page anywhere. And then you can also create landing pages through liquid markup and based on the URL, it's going to, there we go, number one spot here. And based on that URL, the data on the page is injected. So we have this really cool little way of mass producing landing pages based on data that you pull out. So that gives you a quick oversight. Good. Can you speak just briefly about 301 redirects as well? Apparently that's uh, oh. of concern. Okay, yeah, so 301 redirects, you, uh, if hopefully we're, we're gonna have to fine tune those, but you can uh, import a 301 redirect list. So from here to there. And um, as long as the extensions aren't, you know, sort of reserved extensions, we're using some Python Ruby on Rails. Uh, and so we would need to make sure that um, some of those extensions were catered for properly. SEO was a big part of how we developed the platform. Yeah, and from what I've seen already, Adam, the, uh, the SEO side of, of Platform OS is, is fantastic and getting you number one ratings. So. If I can just ask Alex again quickly, there seems to be a fair bit of confusion about the pricing, so maybe I'll restate it as I understand it and you can just confirm it. So if I take a site and I bring it over and it's, it doesn't need the, the high-end thing, I can get the, the uh, triple CMS for somewhere between $10 and $40 a month 
plus whatever the cost is to migrate the pod, the, the site to the platform. If I need something higher end, then I can, I can pay a fee again, have it migrated to platform OS directly with the triple CMS or the admin panel sitting on top of it. And that's $50 a month. It's not, is that, is that how that works, Alex? Yeah, let me share the screen because uh, Dima pointed out a really good thing that brought, brought a confusion. You got that absolutely right in, in, instead of one thing. So my, the, the, the uh, I'm sorry, the, the mistake that I made, I called triple CMS, triple CMS, because <laughs> we, we're probably gonna name it something different because it's a separate entity. So we, because we have the brand triple and I use that. So, so basically triple template platform is a separate thing as a, it, it's, um, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a product so, so service that where you can uh, create uh, uh, free demo sites and upsell them. And when you sell them, you come to us and say, Hey, I sold this demo site, make this, turn this into a website now. And we turn that into a website within one business day. And uh, triple CMS is something, just the CMS, we'll call it whatever. Be careful, BC. Okay, uh, so I, the, the way I see it is I'm, I'm either gonna be on the left at 10 to $40 a month, or I'm gonna be on the right at $50 a month. And yeah. at any time, if I need to, I can migrate from one to the other for a relatively low cost, is that right? Exactly, well, you're gonna migrate and you're not gonna have tri a triple CMS or whatever we're gonna call it. You're gonna have the action panel is what we're gonna maintain yeah, in that, right? Well, action panel will be both there and there. Yeah, Your that's clients, what I mean. Uh, see there. So the, the action panel will remain, but the, the CMS would be uh, changed. So the platform would be like, kind of what it's not a cms it's it's a platform yeah. so we're going to replace the the very low low end basically and this is how you're going to uh, 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 upgrade uh, uh, uh let me give uh, as a bc partner and as a work person who works with a bc I'll, I'll try to give you the analogy the best analogy that i uh, have for platform os uh, uh so you know so it makes sense for me so basically platform os is like a send pile full of legal pieces and you as a developer you just uh, you, you are able to uh bid on top of that your your solutions basically so to speak so admin panel is one of those solutions that we built with on, on platform or action panel i'm sorry is one of those solutions and that we built for as an admin for future websites and the treat the triple uh, the pl template platform the instances that a triple platform will create basically those would be the instances like the front the websites uh, they're going to be built on top on, on top of uh, from those the same legal pieces but they're going to be able to build on top of action panel so this is how i hope this helps uh, it's a bit it's a bit tough. I can see there's still folks have some questions, but uh, what I'm getting again is that the action panel exists in both cases. On the left hand side, it's a hosting server somewhere. My site is sitting on a server that you're taking care of somewhere, but my interface yeah. is the action panel. And then on the right hand yeah. side is platform OS as the hosting platform. Action yes. panel is consistent between the two. If at some point my client's site needs to move from the left hand side to the right hand side, it, the, the site physically moves from one server to a different server, but the end customer doesn't see any difference because he still has the action panel. He may have access to a few more options on the right hand side, but it's still the same action panel, right? You're going to have a lot of options on the, on the, on the, on the, on the, on the platform with. Yeah, there, I understood, you know, understood, but the customer's not going to, he's, he's going to look at it and it's going to feel the same to him, just expanded, yes. right? That's yeah. what we want. That, yeah, that, that's the goal that we wanted. So, so you remember the adaption part? Um, yeah, the adaption part. We want the, the, to take all the stress away from the the end client and the our, our clients, the, the BC partners. Cool. I, I suspect we might have to have an, another one of these because uh, there still seems to be. I, I can't even keep track of all the, the questions going through there. But uh, Dima is tracking, and he uh, can me, he he probably may help me to uh, answer to filter the most important questions because he is aware of everything that's going on in here. Yeah, no, Adim has been uh, answering questions in there, but uh, do you want me to add him in as a co-host or what? Uh, 
которые я даже не смотрю, их сейчас включаю на, на Facebook. Что мне ответить? Что будет в 3.5 МС? Да, объясни еще раз, что Action Panel построена по форме, а MS, как для супер мелких вот это, чтобы не просто их хотя бы разделить. So basically, uh, Dima asked me to, to explain on the action panel. Uh, so action panel, as I explained, right? You see my screen, right? So action panel uh, yeah. built on platform OS as a separate, let's say, entity. So it, it, it's right there, and we put the websites on top of it. So right now it's prototype. We're going to build it out into a separate entity and those terms that we deem application control, social campaign control, without any kind of application on YouTube. Oh. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so we, uh, we're going to build that on, uh, on platform OS. It's not built yet, it's a prototype. But when we build a prototype, at, we consulted, consulted with Adam teams and pretty much the most of the part is, is doable with, with uh, uh, the, the most of the part in the prototype is doable. There are just little pieces that we still had uh, conversations about. And I had the uh, pretty long meeting today with the lead developer this morning. So we're gonna build that and we're gonna have the version of Action Panel built for the triple CMS. We're gonna call it different CMS. And the action, that Action Panel will, will not be built on platform OS. It's gonna be built, it's gonna be a custom build. That we're going to develop we, we develop from scratch you know having the prototype as the and they will and we're going to make the architecture wise we're going to build the ability to migrate from action panel uh, on triple cms built by us to platform os action panel on platform os built by us i hope this answers some of the questions <laughs> it's it, it's better for me and, and again i'm just restating hopefully it, it helps people understand it I'm I wish that this that didn't happen. I mean, we have all this stress yeah. and all that. We didn't plan for this stuff, and uh, this it's too much stress for for I'm sure for you and for everyone. I, I'm it's really I'm really sorry we hit this reality, and uh, yeah, I got it. I got it. That's for sure. So again, on the left hand side, it's it's a it's a a server somewhere. That's fine. Your action panel sits on top of it as a way to access the website and make changes. On the right hand side, we have platform OS, which frankly is is a, is a, I don't even know how, what I would call it. Uh, Adam might have to help with that. It's not really a hosting platform. It's, it's software as a service and it's, it's a website on steroids. It's, it's, it's uh, APIs. Yeah. It's all that stuff. Steroids, yeah. And the action panel sits on top of that again, as a way to access and, and interact with it. You can also use uh, GitHub for the platform OS side to, to push your, your site and, and those kind of things up, you can get right down to the, uh, to the command line if that's what, the way you want. Action Panel is just one method to interact with that site on the Platform OS servers. That's correct. You could use Webflow and deploy Webflow code to it. So if you want to do machine-generated uh, sites uh, using Webflow or any other authoring tool whatsoever, we have no constraints over front-end development tools. If you're using Node, if you're using Angular, if you're using Handcraft or J JavaScript, we're a headless CMS, headless, headless e-commerce, headless CRM, headless email marketing automation, and developers are building on top of us. And the example that uh, Alex has shown is an example of what they're building on top of us. I yeah. think there is the confusion on the pricing, Alex, uh, very much so. I'm a little confused too, I have to say. Um, <laughs> but uh, we will clarify that and get that out to everybody so that... Um, uh, yeah, and, and those who are reading our current pricing, the reason why we priced it that way was we're building and we're working with clients like Intel, Hallmark, and other big enterprise clients. And now we are readjusting our prices based on usage, no constraints on functionality, but only based on um, uh, usage. And we're fine-tuning that because it was not our intent to compete with Business Catalyst. Uh, and Neil is asking the question, Alex, just tell me, uh, Adam, is your fee included in Alex's costs shown here? You mean uh, the uh, what fee? So uh, when when you showed, yep, go back. Uh, the, the, where is it? That there, there we go. So fifty dollar plus plans. Uh, that is a site built through Treepool, 
being pushed to platform OS, that $50 a month they're asking, is that uh, including our hosting costs or is it on top of? Well, you are, these are your plans. These are platform OS plans. So there's everybody's are. answer. I just wanted, I think everybody wanted to hear Alex say the $50 a month is what we charge for the hosting and he's passing it straight through to you. So you're going to have the access to the tree pool, uh, action panel, etc., And the hosting on top of platform OS, if you so choose, uh, is the pass through that we charge. Yeah, we're not going to compete with platform OS and hosting. We don't want that. The reason we did this, the 10 to $40 plans, is because we have to to cover that. You know, somebody has to cover Absolutely. that. So that's the end. We're never going to move this direction. So I think the, the question on everyone else's mind, Alex, if I can read between the lines, uh, is how are you guys making money? And I think... Um, oh, I could... we didn't figure that out yet. We're <laughs> right in the process. Uh, we had just one week. And uh, we, we, the only thing is that we hey we need to we need to we need to present a solution to our clients uh, first, and we have to give them a plan, uh, co-production clients at first. So and then we figure out the uh, the the, um, the this picture right here it, it explains our our uh, condition basically. Uh, so we're we're just you know there are a lot of answer questions to be answered and a lot of things to be defined you know how we're going to charge for the uh, there's a lot of stuff we have to do a lot of unexpected investment we have to do on our side uh, we have to grow our team we actually already did in the last, this last week we have to grow our team tremendously we have several directions uh, that we have to grow simultaneously and. Um, it's a it's a it's a have kind of a challenge, but I mean we're open, I'm open for communication again. BC community I think uh, is is really responsive and there are a lot of amazing people out there and um, yeah we'll we'll try to figure out something. And I'm I'm happy that Adam is uh, is with us uh, while this is happening, uh, offering the you know the core solution to this. So there'll be a dialogue. For sure. And I, I see that there's some opportunity for revenue in the migration or, or getting the sites transferred. There Certainly there's some money to be made there. But uh, what I hear you saying, Alex, is that, you know, for now, that this last little part, this $50 plus on platform OS that includes the action panel, there may be some adjustment required in the future just to allow you guys to uh, to make a living for Pete's sakes, right? Yeah, well, I mean, I'll, I'll be, uh, I'll try to be, I understand everyone's position. And if, if for, for those who will, you know, will choose a direction, the plan that we have, we'll try to be as much as um, democratic in terms of cost and all that stuff and flexible. Uh, yeah, the I only mean, thing is, is that uh, we will, uh, I spoke with our bigger clients, some of our bigger clients and I explained them, hey guys, um, you will have to, you know, if you want to, I, I actually presented them this plan. And I told them, hey, uh, we need the first websites. Uh, and those are going to be expensive, you know, more expensive to, um, to, to migrate to platforms. And again, I will, ex I will repeat one more time. We should start, I think, we have two years. We have two years. I know it seems not a lot, but it, we should start with the bigger websites. And if we go the automation way, and we're gonna go automation way, that's for sure. That's the only way to go to make things, to, to make a smooth transaction. So we're gonna go with a, a complex websites first. And I, I, we spoke with the burger clients to say, hey guys, we need the first websites and we need to, you to pay you know, a, a bigger rate and uh, maybe we, you can return part of it as a discount or whatever. But the more stuff we do, the more complex stuff we do, the, the better the migration tool becomes, the, the action panel will uh, evolve. So, you know, we need to start the process. Thankfully, there were several people that got in and say, hey, we want to pitch in and we want to. The only thing is that they need uh, extra ways ex to sell. So basically, that's why I made the action panel. Hey, you can, um, uh, you will be able to show it. Maybe we're going to have it like branded or something uh, already to the product that will be branded. Maybe we're going to have like a little pre-order of it. So I don't know. So we're going to have to figure that out. By the way, if you have like large websites, you can probably, uh, you want to move to platform OS with action panel. You can just probably email me. Maybe we could, you know, put you in that 
in that line as well. And um, somehow yeah. we, we're going to try <laughs> to figure out that. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. There, there's a lot of uh, comments in the chat there about, I, I think people just don't necessarily understand what platform OS is. And I just, all I can recommend is uh, when I post the link for this recording, I'll also post the link for the earlier recording. Uh, Adam Broadway went into great detail about how platform OS works. It was, I thought, felt it was really well explained. And there's definitely some, uh, some tremendous value at, uh, at $50 a month. So um, this to me is, is uh, a savior for a lot of folks, for a lot of agencies. And, and what, you're, what you're doing, uh, the migration plan and then the action panel to sit on top and how people interact with this platform, uh, I think is just fantastic. So. But that's just yeah, me. Yeah, well, uh, the, the most, uh, here's the most uh, important part that we did uh, for, for all this is, is our team actually did the most important part because uh, when we, last week we decided we're not gonna do any projects, we throw every, threw everything into research. So basically everything that I, I presented like the migration and all on all that uh, we are confident that we it's possible and it seems like a solution it seems like a solution for for core production clients and other people so that makes things a little positive for me personally and for for and for yeah for, for our customer care and things like that yeah and um, i mean frankly if if we if we want this kind of a tool available to us I mean, you're supporting us. We have to support you. And, and in three to six months, we'll figure out how, uh, how we're all going to get there. I recognize this is, this is early days and we don't have everything figured out yet. But uh, there was so much churn in the, in the community. Uh, this was absolutely critical to, to get out there to at least let people know that there's, there's someone working on a, on a solution that, that can work. Yeah, well, we have got, the first three months will be very, very stressful for us it's very busy for us for sure so i hope we're gonna get that through yeah well fair enough but, but at least at least people have hope that uh that there's a there's a way forward i guess that's what i'm really saying okay so if you have Should any closing if, i think you got well you got i think all the questions you can answer anyway and uh i adam unless you have something else you want to add in i think we'll probably close it up here now yeah um, yeah, we're not, well, Dima is kind of, yeah. sorry, I was on mute, um, but no, thanks everyone for the opportunity. It, it, it is early days. We are scrambling. Uh, thanks for a great presentation to Alex. Uh, Alex's team has put a lot of effort in. You're going to see a lot of other partners doing very similar and we will be absolutely, um, uh, there to answer every question. I know you've got lots of them. We may not be the solution, but uh, Barbara and I think Adam and others have compiled a great spreadsheet that's been posted in here, which shows solutions for those that, uh, you know, whose clients don't have the budgets. And at the end of the day, sticking together as partners is what, is what made Business Catalyst successful. It wasn't the technology at the end of the day, because let's face it, since Barty and I left, it hasn't really changed much. A little bit, but not too much. And the last four years in particular, it really hasn't changed at all. So what's kept it going? You guys stick together, share the knowledge. Um, myself, Alex, other partners are fighting in the trenches, building out solutions to make it as painless for everybody as possible, whether you use our platform, Treepool, CMS or others. So thanks everyone. Uh, LinkedIn, um, join me on LinkedIn. If you're, we're not already connected, I think I am with a lot of people and, and send through questions. We'll, We'll regroup again probably a couple of weeks to share more. Sounds good. And uh, I think for the short term, this, this sample time we're going to use for things like this, as people are discovering uh, other CMSs as well that they, they may want to look at, or certainly if Alex and Adam want to come back and, and clarify some things that were, were uh, perhaps not uh, as clear as they, as they could be. Again, this is a work in progress and, I, for one, am thankful for you guys for your efforts, for sure. Thanks a lot. Thanks, everyone. Uh, we'll keep in touch. Bye-bye.